Why the hell not? I mean, I was a little buzz and feeling kind of ballsy. So I thought to myself, what the hell? I'll try an entire game of holding with my eyes closed. I mean, I didn't even look at the cards once. Not once. And I won. I actually <laughs> goddamn won. Problem was, I was stupid enough to tell the guy. I told him exactly what happened. He freaked out. He freaked out on me. He like leaped across the table. And he started attacking me. He just started crawling at me. I mean, which would have been fine, except, I don't know, he just kept, kept crawling at me, so I hit him with this hook. Guy, he lands on his beer bottle, goes right through this artery <coughs> in his leg, you know, the big one. He called it manslaughter. Manslaughter in the third degree. Two years. Two years. I mean, they said I didn't help the guy, and it was true. I, I just left. I thought the little fucker was faking. So I kept in shape on the inside. You know, it wasn't easy. I took it for granted. I get back. See, I mean, I was so stoked because the Dolphins just signed Dan Marino. Dan Marino. But when I show up to my agent's office in New York, he's got this shit look on his face, like he ate some shit smoothie or something for breakfast. And he looks at me and he says, the NFL suspended you. Indefinitely. I mean, I got a training invitation from those guys in Vancouver, but I didn't want to play some kind of fruity Canadian football. I mean, I was going to hold out until I got reinstated. And then once you have a kid, everything changes. Right? I mean, it did for me anyway. With all the hours I needed to plan, I couldn't find time to work out. I lost my D. I lost my appeal with the league, and two years down the road, I'm, I'm changing wet diapers in a barn. Changing wet diapers in a barn. And by then, my agent wouldn't return my calls. So I dropped it. I just gave it up. What else? What else? Okay. And scene. Scene 13.